Hi everyone, I am Bindeshwar from Post Network Academy and in this video I will discuss about arithmetic mean of group data and basically discrete frequency distribution. For the discrete frequency distribution, so there are three methods to calculate mean. The first one is direct method second shortcut method and I have made a video that shortcut method so that was uh, made by me uh, just an example but basically for the calculating mean there are three methods one is direct method second shortcut method and third one is also shortcut method but uh, name is step deviation it is using different method so there are three types direct method second shortcut method And third one is also sir shortcut method but different way. So step deviation method it is called. Now in this video I will discuss about direct method and I will solve some problems using direct method so let us understand what is the direct method so I am writing here direct method you see that here <coughs> if <coughs> There are observations x1, x2, x3, xn and their corresponding frequencies are f1, f2, f3, fn. Then what would be the mean? So mean would be x bar is equal to f1 x1 f2 x2 till fn xn and upon f1 F2 till Fn or in short it is written as summation over I is equal to 1 to N Fi Xi upon summation over that is from I to 1 to N. So this is the formula. Now let us take an example. So I am taking an example that how to calculate arithmetic mean. So observations are given here. X i's and F i. So when observation is a 4 its frequency is 5 when observation is 6 frequency is 10 and now I am writing here 9 10 10 7 
सिक्सटीन एंड एट नाउ वट यू हैव टू डू जस्ट मेक अनदर कॉलम ऑल्सो एफ आई एक्स आई बिकॉज द फॉर्मूला इज एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू समीशन ओवर फ्रॉम आई वन टू एन एफ आई एक्स आई अपॉन समीशन ऑफ ऑल फ्रीक्वेंसीज and in this case the value of n is 5 so if you multiply 4 by 5 so that would be 20 if you multiply 6 by 10 60 that would be 90 70 and the 120 120 now it you will require this to Summation, summation over F I. So summation over F I. Of course, I one to n, and that would be if you add fifteen, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-two, and eight. That is forty. And the same if you add this one, that will come F I X I. Three sixty. So just plug these values in this formula, and you will get three sixty upon ninety, and that will come four. Sorry, that is not ninety. That is forty. So that is forty, and uh, that will come nine. So mean is nine. Arithmetic mean mean that is nine. Now let us take another example. So see that. Weights, uh, or you can say that I'm just writing observations. Observations are x i f i sixty seven four is the frequency seventy frequency is three seventy two frequency is two seventy three Frequencies two seventy five. Frequencies one. Now you have to make or add another column, which is f i x i. It means you are multiplying f i s with x i s. So that will come if you multiply this one. That will come. Two sixty-eight. You can verify it. Seventeen two three two one zero two hundred ten, and so on. You can multiply and verify. One forty-six seventy-five. And now, formula to calculate mean is x bar. Summation over i from one to n f i's x i's upon summation f i. Now you will require these two summations. So here f i's, if you add it, so it will come. Twelve. You can see that 
फोर थ्री सेवन सेवन टू नाइन नाइन टू एलेवन ट्वेल्व फाइव दैट इज ट्वेल्व इफ यू एड दिस वन सो दैट विल कम एफ आई एक्स आई एंड इफ आई एम नॉट राइटिंग दैट मीन्स समिशन इज यू फ्रॉम आई टू वन टू एन Now just plug these two values into the formula, and here it will come. I haven't written eight forty three. So eight forty three upon twelve. If you calculate this one, that would come seventy point two five. this would be mean of the observation now let us take one more example so observations are near frequencies not one here i So observation is ten, frequency is seven. Observation is thirty, frequency is eight. Fifty, ten, seventy, ten, eighty-nine, and ten. So again, the same way, you will. Make column, and you will multiply observations with their corresponding frequencies. So seventy to four zero. If you multiply, and here five hundred. In same way, now you will calculate. arithmetic mean and formula is so if you add this value will come basically summation of all frequencies so if i is and that will come 50 and here i also am directly writing so we should just you need to verify and that will come 2750 and mean would be 2750 upon 50 and that will come 55 so this was some problems based on discrete frequency distribution that means data were discrete frequency distributed and we calculated mean hope you have understood because that is very easy some more questions i will solve in the next video based on discrete frequency distributed data thanks for watching the video